Hello guys, welcome to Joe Special Tube. Today I am very much interested to show you very fine and very effective watershed delineation using web browsers. Let me remind you to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell to gain some kinds of updates and notification from my channel. Let's get started. As I have mentioned earlier, I am very much interested to show you automatic watershed delineation within a minute. Before that, I would like to say something about watershed. A watershed is any geographic area or land where all of the water that falls in it and drain of it goes to a common out. So watershed can be as small as a footprint or large enough that encompass all land that drain water into a river. So uh, let us get started the practical aspect of uh, the drainage delineation within a second. So what you are going to do is open your web browser. It can be Google Chrome or it, any other uh, type of web browser. So write as mbghydro.com slash watersheds, search it, and we will gain uh, this type of open street map. This is a website that helps us to automatically delineate the watershed of any area. So let me introduce the interface of this uh, site. Here there is global watershed. You can delineate a global watershed. And here uh, we have two options. The first one is upstream delineating watershed. It helps to delineate any watershed in Ethiopia or wherever you found in the world. It can be in India or in Indonesia or in Sudan, the like. The second is option, click here. Under option there are different uh, choices. The first one is zoom watershed. It helps to zoom in and zoom out uh, to delineate a watershed. Here there are different uh, rivers and tributaries. The second is uh, keyboard shortcut you can use uh, a keyboard to uh, select to zoom zoom out and the like here uh, there is a precision the higher precision and the lower precision if you make uh, if you make the small scale or large area coverage the precision become lower whereas if you are uh, make zoom the precision become uh, higher. The other is the most important component that is listed here is that there is river stream. If, if we need to download a river stream within a certain watershed, we are expected to click here river and stream, uh, watershed boundary and watershed outlet. As you know, the outlet is helpful to delineate any watershed in a certain geographic area. The other, there are two types of uh, data source, merit and hydro sheet. Mm -hmm. This merit uh, hydro uh, is the most recent one in 2021, whereas this uh, indicates 2030. So uh, you can use merit hydro uh, 2021. The other is location. If you are moving your cursor on your computer, the XY coordinate value is di displayed here. Whereas uh, this is a zoom level, when zoom in and zoom out, the uh, level of uh, zoom level indicates here. The other uh, most important parameter that we have uh, explored here is that here there is different options of a satellite. This is open street map. Uh, if you are interested to use a topographic map, you can tick here and you will gain such kinds of topographic structure. It clearly indicates the topographic structure of Ethiopia. The other is there is also satellite images. You can use a satellite option. Here is the satellite image and the topographic structure. The ups and downs are indicated here. So uh, this is your preference. But for this exercise, I'm very much interested to use the street maps because it indicates the uh, channels of rivers. Uh, the other most important thing that I have. I should uh, express here is that the downloads option should be ticked if, uh, if we are uh, interested to take the 
delineated water shirt work yes for further map analysis click here make a download reason then let me select streets this as i have mentioned earlier it is easy to delineate watershed it can delineate within a fraction of second and uh, it can also calculate the total area of the watershed that we have delineated let's give an example i am uh, very much interested to delineate the logia river which is uh, originated from the highlands of ethiopia and drained towards the arid and semi-arid areas of ethiopia so uh, okay uh, what we have going to do is the first thing that uh, should be uh, consider the purport so there are different rivers that are drained from the islands of ethiopia towards this uh, area uh, this is a Tandahau reservoir or it is a dam so uh, different rivers that is originated from Wollo area and from uh, other parts of Ethiopia is drained towards this uh, of our regional state and finally they are collected with uh, this area this is a port point so to create a port point make it uh, click here then upstream watershed delineate this is a caution and click delineate click here simply within a fraction of second it can delineate a watershed which is finally discharged here this is the watershed that is uh, drained towards this, this port point so here the total area of the watershed that i have delineated earlier is estimated to be five uh, fifty thousand kilometers square and we can use uh, we can download this uh, in terms of shapefile geojson or kml if you are interested to explore on google earth you can use uh, kml if you are interested to use the map in arcgis we can use shapefile geojson file is helpful to perform the watershed analysis within r and qgs so uh, let me download the shape file the shape file yeah, the shape file consists of the watershed boundary which is highlighted in rear in, in red color the other is a rib, uh, river this is a channel and finally when we uh, explore this data with an arc map we can also uh, show the, the stream order so let's download it to download this file go to here click share file and you uh, we need to uh, set our working directory let me go to d drive under a let me say watershed folder watershed then this is a watershed save it let me uh, download a river So we are expected to select the same folder watershed this is a river and this is zipped file let's open arc map arc map simply we are delineated in such fashion in automatic way and let me show you how to uh, explore this data with an arc map okay this is our come up what we are going to do is the first step should be uh, let's uh, extract the file because our data file format is uh, winrar or zipped to extract this file right click here then extract file or extract to river one you can use alternatively mm, the same thing happen for watershed extract file so uh, both the river and the watershed boundary is extracted and we can easily access by our ArcGIS go to our data from our data we need to go to the data folder go to A from a watershed from watershed let's uh, add river the same thing happened for the boundary this is a watershed that is delineated under our uh, watershed let's get back and go to watershed from watershed this is watershed boundary double click here let's make it hollow 
may select hollow this is the watershed that we are delineated so uh, this indicated that the port point you can uh, create the map layout but the most fundamental and very interesting point that that should be stated here is that is there is different stream orders to uh, no, the stream order of all these rivers, what uh, we are uh, going to do is double click on this river, go to symbology, uh, let's uh, change the color, the river should be uh, like this make it okay then go to categories from categories uh, the value field is uh, com, com id but let us select uh, stream order s order uh, click here add all values as you have uh, seen here there is first order second order third order fourth order and fifth order streams so uh, apply here apply you can uh, easily distinguish the first order to the second order stream finally what we are going to do is label it go to labels tick label feature on this layer and uh, select this uh, stream order mm, you can uh, use different types of font type time new roman or your preference you can make it 10 or 11 you can also change the color of the font based on your color preference make it apply or it is better to be black so all these indicators that this is a first order stream this is a second order stream the fourth order and the fifth order stream so you can easily uh, map the uh, stream water of a river and you can easily delineate the watershed by this fashion if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask and you can contact via my uh, email or my telegram address this is all about today's lesson if you have a nice day